Hey guys, and welcome to my video today on uh, a little known feature that came out around about the time the Bigfoot DLC released. Now, this is a feature that is useful for everybody. It doesn't matter if you have the DLC or not. Now, these three levels are part of the Bigfoot DLC. Um, they are paid for levels. Um, but this feature actually comes free for everybody and affects the rest of the game. So, what I want to talk about today is the policy screen. Now, it's probably a good idea for me to kind of shed a bit of light on how GPs work and how patients work. So, by default, um, when your patient reaches a certain diagnosis level, um, they will see their GP who will then diagnose them and you'll be able to send them for treatment. Now when they first come to your hospital they start off with absolutely no knowledge of uh, what their illness is. They'll see the GP for their initial diagnosis uh, who will then send them to some kind of further diagnosis. Now this can be the DNA lab, this can be psychiatry, it could be the ward, it could be general diagnosis. After going there for the first time, they will always go back to their GP, who will then tell them where they need to go next. Now, the issue with this is that the queues quickly bloat. Um, now, I've had hospitals with um, hundreds of patients in and then queues for GPs in, uh, you know, sort of <laughs> literally most patients in the hospital queuing for a GP. We're talking dozens and dozens. And that doesn't really get you very far because your patients just end up waiting for such a long time that their health drops and they will die. Um, and that's not great for it's not great for them it's not great for you it's not great for your bank balance and it's not great for your reputation so um, what does this policy decision change so if we go to the finance tab and then have a look at overview you'll see up here is a new button which got introduced on I believe it was the 5th of December called policy um, now, if I reset those to default, you can see how the game normally plays. Um, the diagnosis threshold for treatment is 90%. And what this treatment is, but sorry, what this threshold is, is you'll have your patient going to your GP, and once they pass 90% on the diagnosis threshold, they will then be sent for treatment. Um, you can change this now to make it lower. Um, I usually stick it at about 80%. Um, but the most important thing is this one. Now, this allows your patients, when they go to the diagnosis, so the DNA lab or general diagnosis, psychology, the ward, or, or any of the others, um, if they pass the threshold that you've set here, which is now 80%, they can then go straight to treatment without needing to be referred back to the GP. Now, this is huge because it means you're going to cut down on your GP queues. Now, usually if you have um, a good doctor, their first meeting with a new patient uh, let's see if we can find one here. So he's got absolutely no diagnosis. But because my doctor's fairly decent with four Watsamajugas, that's what I'm going to call them now, for uh, uh, diagnosis general practice uh, skills, um, he's actually able to see him once and immediately know that he's uh, got to go to the pharmacy. It's not a great example, to be fair because that's one of the easiest things to diagnose. Let's take this guy for example. Uh, no, again, not a great diagnosis. All right, so my doctors are all too good to really illustrate this. Um, but uh, what it means is 
we don't have to keep sending patients back to the GP every time um, they reach 100% diagnosis. What will happen is that the doctor in charge of your diagnosis rooms will immediately be able to send them to uh, wherever they need to go. So if we have a look at this guy, which again, not a great choice, uh, I'm not having great luck here because he's going to die as soon as he steps out of this machine, he should be able to immediately go to wherever he needs to go for his treatment. Um, ironically, if he just stayed in that room and we'd set it to treatment, he probably would have survived. Um, but. I mean, that, that's the long and the short of the, this change. Um, it prevents the queues from stacking up too highly. And really, the way that this used to be handled before is that you would go into uh, your characters tab, find your patients, order them by diagnosis. Uh, let me just move to the top there. Um, Find somebody with uh, a suitably high diagnosis percentage, so 80%. Uh, now, it's important to note that the threshold, I believe, is 81% for them to be treated. If it's still 80%, they will still go for further diagnosis. Uh, so it's one higher than what you set it in, in the policy screen. Um, but previously, you would just go to one of these and then send them for treatment. And if you wanted a good hospital, you would literally have to go down all of them and send them for treatment. Now, these guys don't have a very high diagnosis rate at all, 70%, uh, so it's likely they won't survive. But, you know, this is just, just to show you guys what what is what. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that about covers it. Um, so, just to recap, you go to the overview... Uh, policy and then you want to make sure that this is ticked now there are another uh, number of other uh, options to change they don't really affect the game all that too massively this one is the huge one this one if you take this and have um, an appropriately set uh, diagnosis threshold this is going to change your game massively this is quite a nice uh, feature just to clear up your UI so that you don't always have queue numbers. Uh, this one says 17 here. Uh, if we go on here and change this so that the threshold is now 20, we won't see that number anymore. There is still 17 people queuing, as you can see them all here, uh, but it won't show up above the room anymore. Um, now. I have been slightly concerned that this is almost easy mode um, because if you have enough GP officers and they're not overcrowded and you fund them well enough, they're paid well enough, um, then it's not such a huge problem. Um, but it does make it a lot easier if you are flying by the seat of your pants as you're managing your hospital and that tends to be my management style um, I don't tend to pause things when I'm building I just just go for it really um, so yeah that about covers it uh, thanks very much for watching I hope you did find this useful um, and I will see you again very soon cheers guys bye